Crosscamp champion, world leader in particle size reduction. Before beginning the roll change procedure, do the following. One, review safety warning labels. Two, halt the flow of product to the mill and close the feed gate. Three, move all the rolls fully open. Four, shut power off and lock out. Tag out the mill. Five, consult your operator's manual for a review of safety considerations. And six, have your operations manual available for reference. Before beginning to remove rolls, disengage the shaft lock and fully open rolls. The arrow shows the direction for opening and closing rolls. Roll change in parallel procedures for the Series RM and DPX roller mills. The Series RM roller mill is available in lengths of 24, 30, and 36 inches, while the Series DPX roller mill is available in 42, 52, and 72 inches. Each of these lengths can be configured as single, double, or triple pier models. Regardless of length or pier configuration, the roll change and parallel procedures are the same for each bank of rolls. The model we will use for demonstration is a DPRM36 without scalper. The scalper effectively removes trash before it contacts the rolls. It can be attached to any series RM or DPX roller mill. Contact customer service at 1-800-366-2563 for more information on the benefits of Ross Camp scalpers. It would be also advisable to call customer service and order the series RM DPX wear part package for common wear items such as cheek plates that could be needed during the roll change procedure. All series RM DPX machines have a drive side and an inter-roll drive side. The series RM and DPX version have the feature of left or right hand drive. Step one, begin with removal of main guard view of main drive side with guard removed. Step two, loosen the motor adjustment bolts on rear of machine. Step three, removing belt tension. Step four, Removal of main drive belts. Step five, main drive sheave removal. Step six, Loosen set screw on bushing and removal of main drive bushing. Step seven, removal of grease lines from bearing housings. Step eight, seal retainer removal. Step nine, inter-roll guard removal. Step 10, releasing belt tension on inter-roll drive. Step 11, removing grease lines on inter-roll drive. Step 12, removing idler tension arm. Step 13, interroll belt removal.
Step 14, Interroll Drive Sheave Removal. Loosening Set Screw and Bushing Removal. Completion of sheave removal process. Step 15, seal retainer and grease line removal. Step 16, loosen tram bolts. Step 17, installing lifting lug on roll shaft. Step 18, loosening main bearing. Step 19, removing front access panels. Step 20, hand guard removal. Step 21, removing front pressure member with slot cover attached. It can be removed as one or two pieces. Step 22, three other pressure members are removed in the same fashion. A clamp may be used to prevent movement of the roll. Front stationary roll. Step 23, removing front stationary roll. Bearing can remain on the shaft. Step 24. Removal of inner slot seal. Opposite side removal of inner slot seal. Step 25, flow director adjustment for cheek plate removal, necessary for top stand only. Step 26, cheek plate removal. Cheek plate removal on the other side of machine. Step 27, Bearing bolt removal from the adjustable roll. Step 28, adjustable roll removal. DPRM 36 with top rolls removed. Step one, reinstallation of the rear roll. The adjustable roll. Make sure the seal is in the right position. The short side to the back. This is a wear part and should be changed. Step two, center roll in the frame. Step 3. Installing bearing bolts. Step 4. Tramming the rolls by using double tram gauge. Note that the pieces that are painted red are used for the roll change and are sent with the machine. Step 5. Raise or lower the roll so that the gauge snugly slides under the roll shaft.
gauge should be behind the seal as shown. Step 6. Tighten the bearing bolts, then recheck tram and readjust tram if necessary. Step 7. Tighten lock bolt and repeat procedure on opposite side. Step 8. Reinstall cheek plates on both sides. Step 9. Inner slot seal installation. Step 10. Installation of front or fixed roll. Attach vice grip to frame to prevent roll from moving. Step 11. Reinstall front pressure member, start the bolts, and draw the pressure member in by tightening the bolts. Step 12. Pull out bolts and install handguard. Step 13. Reinstall jack screw bolts and tighten until they touch. Step 14. Installing bearing bolts. Step 15. Tramming front roll or stationary roll. Step 16. Centering the front roll in the frame. Roll bearing bolts on both sides should not be completely tightened until the roll is trammed and centered. Step 17. Check that the seal spins freely and is not pinched in the housing. You should be able to stop the seal from spinning by applying light pressure. This ensures that they are not pinched by the shaft or housing. Check all rolls on both sides of the machine in this fashion. Step 18. Reinstalling seal retainers. Two per side per bank of rolls. Make sure that there is freedom of movement of the dust seals after the seal retainers are installed. Otherwise, shim them out with washers. Step 19. Reinstall grease lines on both sides of machine. Step 20. Tightening set screws for IRD bushing. Step 21. Installing IRD sheaves. Step 22. Torque IRD sheave bolts. Refer again to table in the manual or call customer service. Step 23. Check for proper sheave alignment on IRD and idler sheaves. Step 24. Installing IRD belts. Step 25. Reinstalling belt tensioner. A clamping device may be necessary. Step 26. Tighten metric nut to recompress springs if necessary. Back knot off to end of rod. This knot is for the reinstallation of the belt tensioner. Tensioner nut must not be tightened during normal operation of the machine. Step 27. 
Compressing spring stack to proper measurement on gauge. Five and a quarter inch to five and a half inch depending on the belt length. Step 28. Reattaching grease lines for idler bearings. Step 29. Reinstalling IRD guard. Step 30. Reinstalling main drive bushing and tightening set screws. Step 31. Installing main drive sheath. Step 32. Checking for proper sheave alignment. Step 33. Torquing main drive sheave bolts. Refer to bolt torque specification table in the manual or call customer service for a copy. Step 34. Installing main drive belts. Step 35. Tensioning main drive belts. Step 36. Tighten motor adjustment bolts. Step 37. Tighten motor platform bolts. Step 38. Installing main drive guard. Step 39. Check roll parallel with feeler gauge. Step 40. Install front maintenance door. Step 41. Disengage shaft lock and close rolls for parallel. You should refer to the rolled zero chart supplied with the machine as an additional reference. Step 42. Disengage spline coupling for parallel adjustments. This allows you to move either end of the roll separately. Either end of the roll can be moved in or out by using the hand crank or by turning the jack shaft by hand. Once rolls are parallel, replace spline coupling without rotating shaft. After paralleling the rolls and attaching the coupling, open and close the rolls and recheck the parallel. Make any adjustments necessary. Spanner wrench used to adjust the fine adjustment color. Roll stop color for proper roll gap. It prevents rolls from running together. Step 43. When setting the roll gap or adjusting the rolls, always end with moving the rolls in the direction of closing to reduce backlash in the jack. Close the rolls completely and check the roll gap. If the rolls are too far open, adjust the collar on both sides of the machine clockwise. And if they are too far closed, adjust both collars counterclockwise. Always check roll gap after each adjustment. Step 44. Open the rolls while the machine is running so you can run your fine adjust collar in clockwise. Step 45. Close the rolls till they touch slightly. Step 46. Open the rolls slightly till not touching and move the fine adjustment collar counterclockwise till it hits the roll stop on the jack. Step 47. Lock fine adjustment collar in place and replace covers. Step 48. Reset hand wheel gauge Turn counterclockwise to reset red needle to roll gap. Step 
Step 49. Replace dial and be careful when tightening set screw to prevent crushing of plastic gauge. 